Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a new Florida vlog. It's another gorgeous day, as it always is. Uh, we're feeling refreshed this morning. We've had a little lie in until about half nine. It's currently now half past ten. And we're off to Animal Kingdom this morning. We're going to be doing a little bit of a live stream when we get in there. Yeah. Uh, so if you watch that, thank you for tuning in. If you want to watch it, it's on catch up. We're going to do a little live stream in there. Have a little mooch around. I managed to bag a uh, lightning lane for Flight of Passage. I uh, did send Jackie a WhatsApp and she said, look, I'll get you in today, but uh, please stop sending me messages. So um, <laughs> she's finally going to get us on there. I think we will get to see Jackie. She's in the office today. Um, she said, look, I'm going to be working hard. Um, I'll try and pop in, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see if we get to see Jackie. But that's the plan for this morning. And then later on, it is the 3rd of July. So we've got the big special fireworks going on at Magic Kingdom tonight and tomorrow. Uh, 4th of July was all already booked. So we're going today. Uh, with that, we are also getting a nice special private taxi ride to and from the Magic Kingdom for a bit of a change, a bit of a break. Yeah, from because the driving. it's going to be a bit crazy. And with the Magic Kingdom, the way you travel there and back, it's it's just going to be easier for us to get this. Get, yeah, to, to avoid all of the transport and stuff, we're going to be uh, linking up again with uh, Epic. So uh, that'll be coming a little bit later on. We're going to be getting picked up from here. But for now, let's get ourselves into Magic Kingdom. I need to get my sunglasses on because I can't see a thing because it's so bright out here. Let's uh, stride on to get ourselves in the animal kingdom. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go, all done, scanned in. Can't beat that feeling. So, Jackie's just WhatsApped. She said, look, got me lunch break about 12 o'clock, come on down. So, about quarter past 11 now, so 12-ish, yeah. she'll be on her break. So it's whether we try and catch her on her break or catch her in work. I don't know. We end up catching her in work, I think. We go for a coffee first, <laughs> because if I do not get coffee, I don't think I can survive. I need a large coffee with extra shot in it as well. Extra shots? You'll be bouncing, surely. No. The excitement of Florida no. and Disney World and sunshine and 90 degrees and no. you don't need shots of coffee when you're I in do. when you're in Disney. I do, I do. Just pulling up to the gates give you a boost. I have like three cups of coffee a day and a Red Bull, so I need it. Jeez Louise. Definitely need it. You know what's getting me through? The thought of seeing Jackie. I was about to say. My mate Jackie. Jackie Ogden. Are you sure she's just a mate? Well, <laughs> didn't want to say, but you know. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> love a good ride on a banshee. Oh, so do I. Can't wait to ride that ride, you know. I do love it, but it's a hard ride to get on, isn't it? Yeah. It's yeah. Um, it's always it's very always very busy. Sometimes we wait for it, hour, an hour is our limit. Sometimes you'll get it for that. Uh, a lot of the times you buy like individual lightning lanes yeah. for it, which is for this one, they do vary. This one is $16, Tron is 20, I think Guardians is 17. So they all vary a little bit. They're not cheap by any means, especially if you've got a big family and stuff. So it's not really Feasible suitable for everyone. All the time, yeah. But for us, and we're bobbing around, and we're doing a live stream and stuff, it saves us a lot of time, because it was already 100 minutes, I think it was, at the moment. Yeah. Which means we won't do the ride. It's either pay a bit and do the ride, or don't I do mean, it at all. I mean, does he know what to do, don't they, eh? And we, we, we budget for these, so we'll save a little bit extra extra harder, so we've got extra few hundred dollars to do these lightning lanes while we're here. Yeah, I would say... So we budget for them. Try and budget for extras like lightning lanes. If you can. If, if you, you are, can. If you, if you want to spend the money on that. So you've got the price for the three big like three big rides there. Twenty basically twenty dollars each. Call it twenty dollars with the tax each. If you want to do it, save a you know, hundred dollars will get you quite a few little lightning lanes to save yourself a lot of time. You're buying yourself time while you're on holiday basically. Yeah. Rather than waiting a hundred minutes, two hours. You're waiting 20 You're gonna minutes. You're going to wait 20 minutes. So you've just bought yourself another hour and a half of your holiday. To sit in, in a, a park and enjoy it and take it. Yeah, you can spend that hour and a half then 
admiring the scenery or Go doing a different animals, ride yeah. or what have you. So it, it swings and roundabouts. There's pros and cons of it. Um, it won't be for everyone, but. And when you are saving for the holiday, when you are working, just think this hour and work is part of a lightning lane. This hour yeah, and work is the rest yourself... of that lightning lane. Just think, don't put it in money put it in experiences at, at your holiday yeah, you can always make more money you can always pick up some extra shifts and stuff but you can't always be at disney world and no. you can't always see jackie ogden so no you know what i mean a bit of jackie right let's go and right. see her yeah it's been too long so we're in dinosaur 218 to 226 remember that everyone definitely not our dino <laughs> Oh, it is uh, certainly. It's very hot today, but it's not. Today. But it's not um, humid. Just no, yet. just that real dry, stinky. Like, yeah, it feels like somebody's blowing hot air at me, but not from the sun, from like no. ground level, like my arms. So if you're watching this, because people watch these vlogs all year round, if you're watching this and it's cold, it's the UK, it's rainy, it's a horrible day, I'm, I'm sending you the heat virtually through the screen right now. Or if you're watching in Canada or wherever you're watching from, if it's cold where you're tuned in from now, I'm sending you the Florida heat vibes because it's hot. It's hot. But it is nice. It is nice. I think what makes it feel really hot sometimes is you get used to sitting in air con and then you come out and it's like warmth in your face. I think if you stayed in it consistently, it wouldn't feel yeah. as intense. But it's because you keep going in and out of ice cold air con, then out again. But yeah, we've got to uh, jump on the monorail, to, not monorail, tram today. I think we are a little bit further away. Laura's forgotten her ears. She's running. <laughs> She's running. <laughs> We're going to miss the tram here. Come on. <laughs> you can do it. Folks, all persons and bags are subject to security screening. If you have any of the following items, return them to your vehicles. They are prohibited. Selfie sticks, guns, knives, weapons of any kind, return them to your vehicles. Now they are prohibited in all four of our Walt Disney World theme parks. For your safety, remain seated with the doors closed, keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside while the tram is moving. And supervise your children. Thank you. Para su seguridad, favor de permanecer sentados con las puertas cerradas, manteniendo sus manos, brazos, pies y piernas adentro mientras el tranvía está en movimiento. Y vigilen a sus niños. Gracias. Well, I didn't know that, Laura. The, uh, the trams were built by the Seven Dwarfs. That's why the clearance is so low. Didn't know that. You have a stroller, ECB or wheelchair, only one person per stroller in the stroller lane, which is... Okay, so we're all in, all done. Now, uh, we did make a mistake. We had a reservation for Magic Kingdom today and then came to Animal Kingdom, but uh, we did just pop to Guest Relations. He said, don't worry, just change your reservation for here. You'll still be able to park hop into Magic Kingdom. We said, won't it reach capacity or anything? He said, no, only normally happens at Christmas. He uh, said, well, there's, there's no reservations left for 4th of July tomorrow. He said, it will be a busy one. Just because there's no reservations left doesn't mean they don't keep availability for park hopping. So, uh, although you might look and it says full or can't make a reservation for a certain park on certain days, they keep a big slot of it available for park hopping. So tomorrow, they can't. there's no reservations for Magic Kingdom, but you should still be able to park hop, uh, which is handy to know. Uh, so we'll be fine going into Magic Kingdom later. You said you won't have any issues. So we're in Animal Kingdom. We're good to rock and roll. Jackie is inbound. Uh, we're going to do our little live stream now and grab a coffee. And we'll catch up with you very shortly and uh, take you on to Pandora. Uh, flight of passage and go from there. Might even do a little Everest. We'll see how it goes in here today. It's not too, uh, not too bad no, crowd wise. No. I, didn't, I did say it would be a bit quieter because I think a lot of people would be at the Magic Kingdom. Yeah, there's lots of uh, things going on at Universal today. A lot of people at Universal yeah. are trying to catch this big new uh, debut of a uh, parade. We won't be able to make that today. We might try and catch it another day if it's on. It uh, debuts today, it's meant to be massive, six o'clock today, but we're in for the fireworks. So uh, we'll try and catch that on another day. And uh, it does look good, looks good. Right, let's make our way towards the Tree of Life. Okay, everyone, so just done a live stream. We've had a nice coffee, but of course we've got our free cup of ice water, which is very important. Is no ice water. It's no longer ice in it. We've come along to the rapids just to have a look at uh, what's going on. People getting soaked, absolutely love this, love it. 
seeing people get drenched. She just saw one girl and she's stuck in the same position and was just getting soaked over and over and over again. Hey, get on it. Hey, lovely. So yeah, we're going to see uh, Jackie very shortly, actually. It's nearly Jackie time. Yeah, it is. Jackie time now. Jackie time. Right, let's stride on then. Let's, uh, it's uh, very hot in the sunshine. We did think the park was quite quiet, but now we've come to the back side of the park. It actually seems very busy around this uh, back side. I think everyone's on the water park, on the water uh, rapids trying to cool down. It's just so hot. You see the guy there was just dousing the baby with sun cream spray. The wife was holding the baby up like, <laughs> like Simba. Like, like Simba, yeah. And then the, <laughs> the husband was just dousing the baby in uh, sun cream spray. Good way of doing it. Right, let's make our way around to Avatar then. We'll cool off in there. It's nice and cold in there. It's the good news. Oh, here we are then. Just grabbed a nice cup of ice water in uh, Starbucks just to keep us cool. And we're heading in. I love the sights and sounds as you come in here. So different. Cross that bridge and it's an instant change, isn't it? Yeah, do like it in here. The sights are awesome. Good. Even all the floor at night, all the luminescent and everything. Right. Jackie knows I'm on the way. Yep. Yeah. Oh, the more importantly, it's just catching up with Jackie, really. It's seeing what she's been up to. Well, I'm hoping so. That has to be like off camera, that. You know what I mean? Because she's busy and where she shouldn't really be, you know, popping off to... She's got a lot to do in there, in there you know what I mean? So we'll see her. She, she might introduce herself to you all. We'll, we'll see how we go. See how we go here. I'm just thinking there's going to be some people watching going, who is Jackie? And <laughs> why are we off to meet her? You'll find out who Jackie is. One of the most important people in Walt Disney World. Big deal. Big, big deal. She's uh, one of the top dogs. Wait, you dropped your hat. <laughs> her hat's just fallen off the roof. I'll give it to her in a minute. There you go, spot, spot the fake fountain. I like to play that game in here. Oh, I can feel the air con. The aircon's really good in here because that's to keep the ride system so cool. So the aircon is boss in here. So much detail going on around you. You got your hair. Okay, Dr. Stevens, they're ready. Can everyone see me? Great. Welcome to the Avatar program. Soon, you're going to have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi Rite of Passage flying on the back of this powerful animal called an Ikron, or as we call it, a fan. They're all clear. Great. Now let's go over how all this works. Like I said before, you're going to be matched to these things called avatars, which look a lot like the Na'vi. They're created by blending human DNA and Na'vi DNA. Once we match you to an avatar, thanks to a special link chair, your mind will be able to control that avatar. Using avatars to fly this way was all figured out by my boss, Dr. Jackie Ogden. She leads her science team, which is part of the Pandora Conservation Initiative, and we're here in the Valley of Moara studying Years. banshees, researching them. Unfortunately, banshees live high in rookeries and humans can't get anywhere near them without <laughs> becoming their lunch. But the Na'vi and avatars can. In fact, the Na'vi have been riding on the backs of banshees since their earliest history. Oh, see me, so move a little if you can't. Before we send you to the link chamber, let's watch this piece by Dr. Ogden, who runs the program. Welcome everyone. I'm Dr. Jackie Ogden from the Pandora Conservation Initiative. You're about to experience a ceremony that's very special to the Navi, flying on the back of an to an avatar that's already on the back of the Necron. Let's see how this works. We establish a link using powerful psionic amplification equipment. A human driver is connected to an avatar, which could be physically hundreds of kilometers away. Connected to your avatar and sitting on the back of an Ekron. It'll feel like you're really there. Moments later, you'll begin your flight. A Navi guide will lead you out. You'll experience the breathtaking beauty of Pandora, 
but you might also face some of its greatest challenges. Some of this flight might be intense, but trust your guide and be brave. As the Navi say during this important rite of passage, Sivak hope, rise to the challenge. Good luck, Melanie. It's just phenomenal. The smell is amazing. Well, that is just so good. I love it. Uh, the queue was 90 minutes. We are on in about 15. So saved a whole load of time. Saved about an hour's time, which allowed us to do our live stream, really. But it's just so good. You just got to see Jackie there. She's mad busy. Mad busy. But you got got to meet her. She's going to send me a WhatsApp when she's free for an ice cream. Uh, said it's on me. But uh, I think she's getting a bit annoyed with me now for, for all, the, uh, all the messages and that. But you met her, you got to see who she was. I do think, I think it'd be amazing when they eventually do a refurb on that, which, or well, the maintenance, you know what they have to do. It would be so cool if they added different sequences so you didn't know what you were going to get. A bit like with Star Tours. So the, the, the actual ride system could stay on the same sequence, but what you're seeing on the screen could change. So you could be going under the water with the Banshees. You could end up in trouble. You could end up off in paradise you could do all kinds you could race all the banshees it'd be really good if they had like four sequences you didn't know what, which one you were going to get i think that could come eventually but for now it's so good so popular worth every minute of getting on it it's worth an hour's wait that lovely and cold in the queue line loads of wi-fi in there as well which is good brilliant ride brilliant loved it what do you think laura i reckon if they added a few different sequences like star tours you know what you're going to get are you going to be in trouble? A longer line, you'll get. It'll be really good. Yeah, it would be well, absolutely yeah, Maybe amazing. when it does drop off a bit in popularity, yeah, they could do I that. Yeah, right now, how popular it is, they don't need yeah. to do anything to it. It is. It's phenomenal. Uh, they don't need to change it, but I think they could go a level above there and throw oh, in some yeah. different sequences. But something that ride from the second is old, movie, so... the second movie come out now? Yes. So something from underwater that second movie one, in yeah. there, underwater, you're going to go under, more splashes. They could do so much, yeah, so much for, for not that much more money, really. It's more just the visuals, what you're seeing on the screen, they'd need to change. Uh, but for now, it's uh, back to week time. Laura loves the pizza in here. We're going to get you a nice gluten-free pizza, Laura. Yeah, I did. Gluten-free pizza in here is to die for. Let's take you for a little yeah. pizza and I'll see what I fancy. I might fancy something different, but we'll get you your favourite pizza. Yeah, to do, do mac and cheese in there. I have a bit of mac and cheese. I had mac and cheese yet this holiday. Yeah, we do like a bit of mac and cheese, don't we? Hey, what are we thinking, by the way? A few people on the live stream commented on the old, you know, pink shirt. I didn't even realise it was pink and colour blind. Thought it was more orangey, really, but I like it. <laughs> I I'm like tempted it. to get another one. Super comfortable. I just wish they did more colours, I more know. designs. I'm definitely going to try and get another one of these shirts before we go. SPF 40. These are brilliant for Florida, these. And I, I went in there sweating and I was all wet. I'm dry now. Yeah. They dry off so fast. They are really good, yeah, Florida. really perfect. comfy for you on. They're really and easy for me to wash and yeah. dry and stuff. Wash and dry, no ironing. You look smart, but you're actually really cool. You've got SPF on. I think they're brilliant, yeah. absolutely brilliant. Underrated clothes the Columbia lines, aren't they? Yeah, and I tell you what, none of the buttons fray or nothing. You've got the little glasses cleaner on there. Yeah, they are good quality. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I made up, I discovered these. Right, let's go and get a pizza. Oh, yes. So just while we're here, you've got the different push chairs there. Don't forget, you can rent a push chair here in Disney World for a single one. It's $15. If you want to rent a Disney World electric scooter, uh, they are $60 for a day. That's these things here. Uh, they're $60 for a day with a refundable deposit of $50. If you want to rent them in Disney Springs, um, they are the same, but the deposit is a bit more. It's $100 deposit on uh, Disney Springs. Um, so yeah, just for a little bit of info for you, these scooters here are $60 for a day, they're not cheap. There is other companies that rent them though, so it might be worth you shopping around. If you're going to have one for a length of time, uh, for, for the duration of your stay, have a look into it. There's companies that will probably be doing them, they can deliver them, pick them up at the end and stuff. The push chairs, is it worth buying one in Walmart? Again, depends how long you're here for. But have a little look around, but just gives you a good idea. Uh, of the prices in here if you want to rent any of this stuff handy to know you can get a, a push chair or a double push chair for not too much if your kids are really flagging one day well, as a one-off i was about to say the thing with Florida is even if your kids are out of push chairs they still get tired and sometimes it's worse even though they are getting a bit old for the push chairs to get one so the minute when they get tired the shade open them and let them just chill. Yeah, chill, have a little nap, save their, save their legs, yeah, save the feet. Yeah, don't need one, 
Yeah. If you still fit him on, I would definitely get one just so that he could have that little break because if they're in that line for an hour, they can't sit down. Yeah, it's, it is handy to have pushing them around, especially in the heat as well. They can yeah. sit, have a drink while you're and it's easier for probably easy, a bit easier for you as well they're in the push chair you just push them along you're not constantly looking where little johnny is etc yeah. they're our ideas i mean we've not even got kids so <laughs> we can't even really comment but that's how that's our sort of thoughts on it um, once that child is tired and grumpy and overtired there's no going back from it yeah literally every parent will tell you there's no going back so it's better to spend a bit of money, a bit, a bit more effort on your part in the beginning to make sure that that child's comfortable. Yeah. yeah. Try and keep them nice and cool. So yeah, it's just planning ahead, having these little ideas and not knowing how much they are. I think the scooter's $60 for a day. To put it in perspective, in Tenerife, they rent those scooters out. Proper companies that I work next door to. And they rent them to, you know, proper people who need them. We're not talking... You know your typical Benadorm stuff, um, and uh, they rent them out, and they're sixty euros for a week, for a whole week, sixty euros. And I don't think there's a deposit there either. Whereas here, sixty dollars just for one day. So uh, puts it in pers into perspective. It really does. But then I think they make it so much so that people aren't inclined just to get them who don't really need them. And you can work the queues differently if you have got those scooters so we sort of um put yeah, you off you have from to... working the queues differently and queue on properly like everyone else yeah but yeah handy info to now uh, laura's pizza's coming up just on the left here what's it called where we go it's a pizza safari. safari oh my god best pizza ever you like a gluten-free pizza this is the place to come yeah and tip for you guys if you are gluten-free get the gluten-free child's pizza because it's the same size but cheaper and you'll also get piece of fruit and a drink. Yeah, so the gluten-free pizzas, they're all one size, whether you order one as an adult or just, just as a standalone pizza or as a child's meal. So top tip, get the child's meal. Cheap, eh? get more with it. If you want a regular normal pizza, non-gluten-free, you cannot beat via, uh, via Napoli and Epcot. Oh no, the, either the quick serve or the restaurants, those pizzas. I'm gonna try and get another one before we go and the tiramisu. Gorgeous day today. I'm really excited for these special fireworks tonight in Magic Kingdom as well. We've got our Tron Magic lightning Kingdom lane. It's going to be mental today and tomorrow. We'll see. Think, Shall we go? I don't mean mental business, just mean mental in general. I think there's going to be so many people in patriotic. I've seen some in this park with the red, white, and blue. That's good though. Years. I like a bit of patriotic. Yeah, it's wrong with it. I like it's it. It's going to be mental scene and all. Loads of people are doing it. I like it. It's going to be really nice. They're very patriotic. It's not a bad thing. Right. Here we go. Ooh, we've got a 4th of July cupcake. Maybe I could try that. Ooh, what's in this? Strawberry cake. We've got another one here. Lion King rightful ruler cupcake. Red velvet cookies and cream. Ooh. It's getting in the cool. Boy, oh boy, it's hot. Uh, you can do the mobile ordering. Don't forget, we normally avoid that. It just doesn't float our boat. But you can do the mobile order if you wish to. Okay, so it's a bit noisy in here, but uh, what's what we got going on then, so Laura? There's a gluten-free pizza. Major development. So this is the size of the pizza, no matter what. So I found out you could sub the water for either apple juice or chocolate milk. So I've gone for apple juice. Nice. And something that we didn't have last time: a gluten-free chocolate chip cookie. Now I'm going to say that that looks amazing. I'm going to save that for another time. Have it in uh, Magic Kingdom when you're flagging later. Exactly, there you go. It just looks absolutely amazing. Look how thick it is. So there we go. You don't just have to have fruit now. You can get a chocolate cookie. Yeah. Pizza looks good. Oh, the pizza that dough is the best base ever. And the tomato sauce. I love American tomato sauce. Marinara sauce to die for. Nice. So I'm going to enjoy this. And I'm going to just chill and relax. Did you enjoy that then, Laura? Oh, absolutely loved it. I'm full to the rim now. And all of that was only $8. The pizza, the drink and the cookie, $8. That's a bit a of a bargain, pizza. that. That's a really, really understated bargain. That's yeah. definitely worth going to if you've got allergies. Or even if you just want a little good snack at the kids' menu, a little mini pizza and a drink and that, little refuel, on, yeah. even as an adult, you'll be fine. 
Uh, we're gonna go across and conquer Everest, I think. It's a 30 minute wait, but the single rider line oh, moves really quickly. So we might go and do single rider on Everest to let you know how long that takes. And then we're gonna trundle out, have a bit of a chill back at home, and then we've got our taxi picking us up about 4, 4.30 to head off to Magic Kingdom. Yeah. Been a great little uh, day so far. It's been an amazing day. What are you going off to eat? I don't know, I fancy something a bit random. I'm going to try something a bit yeah. different somewhere. I'll see it when we'll it... We'll keep looking at all the little stalls, see what's going on, see if anything that... See if anything jumps out at me. Yeah, all the food in this park is really good, isn't it? Yeah, they do a lot of sort of different. I'd rather have something different than just a generic pizza. I'll try and have a different, I've different not bite. No, no, you're not going to beat that pizza. Beat that pizza so in, in let's try and find something different along the way. So we'll come across to uh, we're on the way into Asia, and we're going to stop at this one here. There's some different snacks there that I'm going to enjoy trying. I might get the honey sesame chicken or the Korean fried chicken sandwich. They sound really good. Let's jump in this line, get some stuff. So tell us what you've got. So I've got the Korean sandwich, Korean chicken sandwich without the salad. They didn't put sauce on it, they gave me the sauce on the side, but that is actually better for me because you can dip your chips in it. And Let me tell sauce. you. Is it nice? Unreal. Good, so I'm glad you like it. So that that's sauce, sauce is one of the nicest sauces I've ever had. So I think you might like that. That looks like sort of shirata. So give that little tiny taste. That Korean stuff is beautiful. You might like that sauce. Yeah, it's okay. It's good. Not as good as your uh, Korean teriyaki. That is but the you bomb. love teriyaki. Teriyaki, teriyaki sauce, anything like that. So yeah, Ooh, this is going right nice up the ranks, this. On your uh, nice uh, mm -hmm. rice as well. That'd be nice on your rice. So I recommend Give that you a try. Um, get so, the sauce either on the side or ask for some extra sauce. That rice looks amazing. I'm going to have a go now. Oh, yeah. So I've got the chicken fried rice as well, which comes in a little pot. Oh, nice. This is nice. This is nice. Mm. So this is again, another quick save restaurant, but beautiful. The food in Animal Kingdom, I love it. Yak and Yeti, I love the curries in there. I just feel like the food in Animal Kingdom just tops mm -hmm. the food in all the other places. It's just, it's not your same old burgers and all that, is well, it? Well, no, because even in Magic Kingdom mm. yesterday, there's only about two places I could eat in. But yeah, there's more, and there's more choice. That sauce is unreal. I want to take a bottle of that home. Oh, it does look nice. Oh. You have to put it on your burger as well now. I'm going to do that now. Yeah. Oh, man. That is fit. I'm glad you're enjoying it. If you like anything like that, it's slightly spicy. It's got a little kick to it, which I like. There is a kick there, so bear that in mind. But definitely worth getting. It's one of those sauces that's like really addictive, if that makes sense. Let's have a look at that. Look at that, it's like oh, a sticky. Yeah. I like this on the side though, I can play with how much is, how much is on it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That bun looks really nice and that chicken looks amazing as well. It does just look like a nice. Looks very plain, but that is gorgeous. You can get it with the salad. I didn't want yeah. the salad, but that is banging. Yeah. There you go, I'll let you enjoy that and enjoy your oh. rice and your chips. You've got a big, big meal and how much was that? Let's have a look. It wasn't cheap. It wasn't cheap. So 25, but then that chicken fried rice is a meal. Mm -hmm. That's not a size, that's a meal. And it is big, to be fair, that's a big portion. I'm just being greedy, bear in mind, no drink with that either. Yeah, so 25, 54, but you're fed now for the day. Oh yeah, I'm fueled up. Yeah. Didn't have any breakfast, but it's worth it when you like it. I always That's say this. The most important thing, as long as you like it, it's worth it. The food or whatever you're having, the snack, whatever, if you enjoy it, it's worth it. Yeah, so I'm going to let you enjoy that mm. now. And I'm going to get out the sun because I'm in the sun here and I'm melting. Oh, come over here in the shade. Yeah. So this was where we were, the local food cafes. And this is on your way into Asia. You've got the monkeys here and further along is Everest. So. That was absolutely gorgeous. I will definitely be back there. It was nice to have something that was like Yak and Yeti style, but without going into Yak and Yeti restaurant. Yeah, and something a bit different than the standard bacon. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. That sauce. I could buy a bottle of that and take it home. Chicken fried rice was lovely as well, if you don't want anything too stodgy. But uh, that was beautiful. I would have that again.
definitely give that a go if you love curry and like spicy sauce stuff like that teriyaki oh beautiful so it's now time for a little ride on everest to say little because it is a big ride this one one of my favorites a very i wouldn't say it was underrated because everyone does love it but it's not spoken about enough this uh, ride for the age of it and everything it is still yeah and you know for the age of it how long it's been there for it's still just as good as when it first opened it's unreal and i love the view of it as well with this yeah snow peaks on it that view right there the screaming it's just awesome awesome right let's get ourselves on single rider so I don't have to ride with you even better <laughs> should do that all Plus the time you got stuff at me isn't it eh? should do it all the time single rider Never great excuse fellas ride. it does go quickly doesn't it some rides it's very very slow with this ride yeah this one is a mover because it's twos it works well with the single rider but yeah fellas if you're fancying a break night strider tip got to do this ride single rider it's got to, can't do the, the normal queue on this laura it's got to be a uh, single rider there's a few rides like that where uh, you have to do it single rider. <laughs> Get yourself a break. <laughs> so as we've got here, it's actually gone down to 20. I think everyone's having their lunch. We're still going to do single rider though, which I think is down that way, single rider entrance. So you just come down this way. So single rider should only be 10 minutes. So here we go, pretty much a straight walk on. If you do single rider, straight walk on that didn't even stand there for 10 seconds before I was called down the line and I think Laura's getting on further down so there you go straight walk on single rider There you go, me and Laura ended up on the same ride anyway. Straight walk on that, yeah, we're on the same ride. I was on the front, you were on the back. I really enjoyed that, I'll tell you why in a second. I'll tell you why single rider is so underrated. Well, that was so much fun at single rider because you just don't know who you're gonna be riding with. So I had this young kid next to me, he was uh, super cute, absolutely hilarious, and he'd never done it before. And it was just exciting for me seeing which points he was like i'm gonna scream i'm gonna end up screaming just to warn you i'm gonna scream i was like it's fine <laughs> and then on the big going backwards he was like screaming his head off it's so much fun riding with someone that you just don't know what you're gonna get yeah the lads i had next to me i don't think he was too impressed he wanted to, he genuinely wanted to sit on his own because he's like three it's like i'll go on my own i'll go on my own the moment you were there he's like oh and that was his first go on that ride as well yeah. yeah so you just don't know you could go on with someone who's a disney expert you can go on with someone who's absolutely hilarious screaming their heads off you don't know who you're gonna go Something on with like me you just sit there quietly so my silent. little my little lad was absolutely hilarious yeah. so and then going up the hill he was like i shouldn't have come on this i shouldn't have come on this, I shouldn't have come on this. it was just really fun Aww. 
So uh, yeah, always always underrated up um, single rider, and that was a straight walk on. It's 30 minutes standby, straight walk on single rider. Like that is one of the better single rider lines that is. Yeah, big time with the way some it's set them, up. Yeah, some of them are really really slow, but then that one is just yeah. The lines under 40 minutes, you're not waiting long at all. That's yeah, you could literally go on and on again in single rider there. We've done that before many times, haven't we? We've yeah. gone on in a normal line enjoyed it and then got on a single line yeah. again and again and then every time you go on it one more person drops off because it's sort of with the whole family and then, yeah, like, and then one person gets off. more sick another more sick yeah. but yeah i think you experience it together and then if you want to do it again just go on single rider yeah. and save all the time Definitely. It's uh, absolutely brilliant that. So I think we'll start trundling out now. Yeah, I've got my nice teriyaki break. burgers settling away there. Get ourselves freshened up for Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom, yeah. We're here. Special fireworks. Super excited Can't for them. Wait. Don't know what they're going to be, be like. Gonna be so Special painful. music. I've got a feeling that we're going to see a lot of this. Like, you know what I mean? Hats off. Yeah. And Patriotic. I think we're going to see I a said, lot of don't that. Don't mind that. No, I don't. I just think we're going to see it. Well, we made great progress leaving the park there, Laura. We stepped the whole 10 yards before hitting the ice cream truck. And now we're getting an ice cream, soft serve waffle cone. Chocolate twist. Ooh, yeah, simple yet uh, effective. Well, we're doing very well today because that is absolutely banging as well. How nice is that? That's amazing. Softest soft serve I've ever had. I just love ice cream. That is mega smooth, that. It's like what you get out of the ice cream, man. But it's like different. marshmallow fluff. Mmm. I love this t shirt. We're on our way out just having a cool down. I think this is brilliant. Things living rent free in my head. That's boss. <laughs> Clever, isn't it? Just pulled over at Walmart, went in to grab an IC. The machine was down, unfortunately, but just got these two huge drinks. Look at the size of it compared to the steering wheel. It's massive, huge, $1.68 for a giant Easy. fountain power aid. Laura's got a Dr. Pepper, $1.68. It's absolutely, look, there's the sign there. Just zoom in, just there, 78 cents. It's absolutely crazy cheap. Get yourself in there. Okay, everyone, so we've just been home for about 20 minutes or so, had a little bit of a refuel, bit of a chill, and uh, we are off now to the Magic Kingdom. Now, we're being picked up by Epic Private Hire. You'll have seen them in our last series. This is a fantastic private hire uh, company uh, for a taxi. So they do the airport service. They do whatever day out you want, whatever trip you want. Um, so, yeah, absolutely fantastic. Got a gorgeous big uh, Suburban. It's super comfy. So, fantastic, small little local company and uh, it's nice to support them and we really enjoyed it last time we did drinking around the world last time at epcot so normally obviously you couldn't drink because you'd be driving uh, they dropped us right off at the park picked us up again super reliable the car has even got wi-fi so if you've got the kids in the back just chill on the wi-fi get yourself a lightning lane on the way to the park and uh, you're good to go so they've just pulled up outside five minutes early same as last time very very on time and I'm excited for this, looking forward to these fireworks. I'm looking forward to going to Magic Kingdom, not driving, not parking, none of that aggro. And uh, we'll just be dropped off, walk in and picked up again. And we're gonna keep in touch with the driver and let him know as soon as we're done and give him a rough estimate of when we're uh, gonna be ready to leave the park, which is nice, it's quite flexible. I'm really excited. So I'll leave the details for these down below. I've put the Instagram up on the screen as well. It's nice to give them some support. They're, uh, they're doing a fantastic job. So let's jump in the taxi. And head off, we've got everything? Yes. Good to rock and roll? Everything's in me bag, ready to go, yeah. We are good to rock and roll. Okay, and here we go. We are ready for our ride. Afternoon. afternoon. How's it going? All good? Very well, yeah, and yourself? All good. Hot out here today, isn't it? it is. Steamy. 38 degrees Celsius. 38 <laughs> degrees, wow. <laughs> we've picked a nice day for a nice ride in the air conditioning, that's for yeah. sure. I keep the engine running, keep it cool in there for you. Thank you very much. You've been busy? <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, very good. busy. That's what we like to hear. Yeah. Nice and busy. What's the most popular journey these days then? Um, airports. I think airports, airport pickups, yeah. Um, you know, obviously MCO being the closest one, but I do a lot to Melbourne as well. Man. A lot with Melbourne yeah. as well. Those two flights coming in from the UK and some a others. Of, a lot of British holiday makers. Yeah. Very, very nice. 
Nice, nice way to be picked up in one of these big beauties, right? We'll jump in, get ourselves Places. off. Yeah. Okay, so we're off. We've got our Disney music on. Uh, we've just been given a nice uh, cold can of Coke. Thank you very much. So, busiest of the airports, what, what's the most popular park that you go to? What's the, the park you do the most? I um, imagine it would be Epcot, maybe? Epcot, certainly. I could probably get into the Magic Kingdom quite a bit. Yeah. I wouldn't say there's you know, anyone that's more, you know, more busy than the others. It just really depends on what people are doing on the day. A whole um, mix. Where, yeah. A whole mix of different options. Yeah, yesterday was Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom yesterday, Magic yeah. Kingdom today. I'm excited for these fireworks. Should be something nice and different. Okay, so if you do get picked up from the airport, uh, what you can do is add on a nice grocery stop on your way to your accommodation or your villa. Uh, so once you've been picked up, uh, you can ask to be uh, stopped or dropped off at a Walmart or a Publix, etc. Uh, for 15, 20 minutes, grab a little bit of shopping for the first few days, which is a nice touch. Also, uh, for those airport runs, you can opt in and have the child seats in the car ready for when you arrive. So uh, if you're traveling with children, etc., you won't have to bring the seats with you. Um, they will have them available for you. Just add it on to the request and uh, they can be in the car ready and waiting for you. It's a lovely smooth journey, this. I love this car, it's so comfy. I'm not, uh, not surprised you don't mind driving this around in the, with no. the aircon on. No. You rule the road in this thing, it's so nice and high. Okay, and here we are then in the drop-off zone of the Magic Kingdom. Love a ride in that Suburban. It is so, so comfortable. And I tell you what, I was just chatting with him then and he's had loads of lovely subscribers in doing airport runs and all kinds. He's just a genuine, lovely guy. And uh, the ride is absolutely fantastic in there. And he'll do anything for you. If you really want to stop somewhere or you want the air con higher, lower, you want different music on, you can even connect your own music if you want. Uh, so I do like that and when you're cruising up to the airport half an hour so it's nice to have that Wi-Fi just to do your last little bits before you're going through the airport when you arrive you know you want to see what's going on catch up on all your messages and stuff you can do that in the car the Wi-Fi is uh, pretty quick excuse me I'm just, the coke is a nice touch as well the nice drinks just sipping on a nice cold can it does make a change from driving for me when you drive as much as I do it's a nice change that and uh, they don't really they don't say about alcohol in the magic kingdom but if it was one of the other parks i could comfortably have a drink now and not be stressed about it which is nice so yeah definitely check them out the link is in the description uh keep supporting them because they're a great little company and the car's lovely so we're going to keep in touch with him now as to when we're going to be done he knows the park closes at 11 fire exit at 20 past nine so i've said around half 10 but we'll let we'll see how we go and we'll keep him uh, up to date Right, so we did the monorail last time. Yeah. So I think now we should do the the boat, the, boat, yeah. the ferry boat I for a change. Think, yeah, I think it'll be nice change. Yeah. And I think all you will uh, be asking for the uh, ferry boat as well. So let's do the boat. Get ourselves in there. Now, just to note, with the watercraft, the boat, uh, it's suspended 40 mile, 45 minutes before to 30 minutes after the fireworks. I think that's to do with people would try and get on. Uh, the boat and watch the fireworks so they suspend it that allows all the all the other boat tours and things to come onto the lake as well and uh, do their private uh, little tours showing the fireworks so yeah they do suspend the boat here so you can't you know try and jump on it and get a free firework watch as cool as it would be they know what they're doing so i mean <laughs> they've banned that coming to this, this station you can see yeah i mean you, i think you think there probably would be some ropes across and security around but yeah, they do have the boats come out and you can watch it, you can pay to do that. We saw that in uh, Fort Wilderness yesterday, didn't we? Wilderness Lodge, yeah, they had the boat, the 450 fireworks. odd dollars it was, 
for up to 10 people. Oh, but it's a big family of you, 4th of July, that's amazing. Or somebody's birthday or an Yeah, get, get 10 of you together, it's $45 each to go and have a, a very unique experience watching the fireworks. Yeah, I'm sure, do you not get snacks involved? Poss possibly, snacks, little drinks yeah, and stuff. Yeah, sure you do. If anyone knows, let us know down below, I think you do though. Yeah, if any of you have done that, was it worth it? Let us know, but for now, we're on Admiral Joe Fowler across to MK, and we've got a lightning lane as well to use for uh, Tron. We're on Tron again, man. T R O N. I would like to do that as well. We haven't done that this trip. Now, let me see how That's long the, the other line one is. on our options. He yeah. said uh, the haunted mansion one we haven't done. But if it's the wait seven line, dwarfs as well, we haven't done. Oh, that's always a long way to seven dwarfs. Here we go then, the most magical place on earth. The train's just pulled up. Uh, ferry boat was nice and quick and easy as well. It's time to scan into the magic. Oh, Hold that pass down, people. wait for that green light. Yes. Next week you won't be waiting for that green light. You'll be putting your pin in and your card in Ikea for stock in the bar. <laughs> okay, so we're coming just in time for the Adventure Friends Parade. Different one to the one we saw the other day. Now, come on everyone, in the comments, own up how many of you have done the old twisty ankle in the old, uh, <laughs> in the lines going down Main Street. Everyone's done it, the old ankle twister. <laughs> and if you stand and watch, you see people doing it as well. Oh, yeah. It's horrible, really. You know it's, it's horrible, really, because you don't half go, because you're distracted by the castle and then you're like, whee! <laughs> and then your ankle's throbbing while you're going round haunted mansion. <laughs> It's, uh, yeah, you got to watch these in the middle of the street here. We've got a bit of a storm rolling on in. That's perfect stormy skies to go on the haunted mansion to feel all the ghouls and ghosts. Oh, yeah, you can't beat it. It just adds <laughs> to it, doesn't it? It does, yeah, going on in the little sort of cloudy weather. So we're going to go and do haunted mansion. It's 10 to 6. And then after that we come off that, it'll be our Tron return time. There's the thunder. Yeah, sounds strong. Yeah, then we'll get to go on Tron, I hope. I don't think that goes down in a storm. It could do though, actually. It's it is a coaster. No! <laughs> uh, so yeah, we'll see how we get on. Uh, and then the fireworks at 20 past nine, we hope as long as this storm clears. I suppose it's good that it's happening now, and then hopefully it'll clear off by the time the fireworks are due to be on. But the park isn't as busy as I thought it was going to be. I think tomorrow it'll be nuts for the actual main day. But I think people are all arriving to Florida today. We've seen outside gates to communities and lines to get in. Oh yeah, so in our taxi ride there, the queues to get in some of the communities to check into their villas was just insane. So everyone arriving today, big day tomorrow, probably have the day off afterwards as well. Yeah, they will. Some of them might even make it into a long, long weekend then. Thursday, Friday off, then Saturday, Sunday. Right. Haunted Mansion. I'm excited. <laughs> laughing at Laura. Because <laughs> there's a lady in front of us having a turkey leg. And it apps. <laughs> it stinks. And Laura's not having any of it. Laura can't stand the smell of these. Dad had one on a previous trip. And yeah, they, they really don't smell great. <laughs> if you like them. Oh boy. So we're trying to hang back. Laura actually wants to go to the back of the line. To avoid the turkey leg, just keep getting wafts of it if you know what the smells like and then just the look of them and all 
Oh boy. <laughs> the good. <laughs> it's, it's 30 minutes to get on and it's moving quite quickly as well, so. Shouldn't be too long on to this. Lightning in the background, thunder in the background. Just certainly feel like a uh, haunted mansion kind of afternoon. Think there's a ghost following you home then or what? If it is, come along. You can work in the bar with me. <laughs> Get him away. <working>. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely love that ride. You know I love that ride. However, there was a new ghost in there I've never seen before. So as you're going in and you look down and you see it the hallway. Yeah. There's a new ghost there. I've never seen them before. When did he arrive? No, no, I've never seen it either. It was good though. It was all lit really up, wasn't it? Really good. And he, his head went from his head to a little Little lantern, box, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. And also, I didn't see Madame Leota. Which one's she? In the ball. She went, went round her. We went round her head. Did you, I didn't see her. Yeah, you went in the room, went round her head, and she was doing the ghosts and spirits wherever you're at. I didn't see her, so I don't know what I was looking at. But I didn't see her. But fact about Madame Leota, the original Madame Leota, who that is modelled off a real woman who worked at Disney. Right. She modelled it years and years and years ago. And then when they'd done the new, it was a Christmas or Halloween overlay, they needed a new head. But Madame Leota, the original woman, couldn't do it. So a daughter who works at Disney done it. So you've got mother and daughter in the ride. Oh, like okay. the actual That's cool. people. So as soon as that ride got put up, Madame Leota, the original, she was a cast member, um, team member who'd done all the designs and everything. Her face is in that hall, and then her daughter's face is in the overlay. Oh, nice. 
Yeah. What's a good ride? It was. Uh, oh, I love that ride. I did like that new edition. I thought I was trying to spot some other new editions, but I think it just seems to be that one. That new one stood at the I've end of the hallway. I've not heard of anything about it though. Which is no, strange. it's good. I liked it. Yeah, I liked it. Nice as little well. surprise that. Yeah. So we've got our lightning lane for Tron now. Are we doing front yeah. row? I've also brought the GoPro. See if I can put the GoPro on to film it. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, so you guys can. I've got see the what chest mount. Do. Yeah. Yeah. So see if we can do that. Yeah. Well, I was just about to get a nice little Mickey bar and a drink there. Laura says now. After Tron. Right. You'll make like only for how long? Another half an hour. So by the time you've got it, that's it. But I wanted to a Mickey bar, it's just for you, you know. But we'll get you one, that's lovely. Nice. Ice cream and a drink coming up after this for sure. It's just right, that's just about ready to get one off the thing then. No! <laughs> I'll tell you, there's one ride we haven't done this trip and it's one of my favourites. And we might have to try and do it. It's, I love it. It's an old classic. And that is Space Mountain. One of my absolute favourites of all time. I have to try and get on that 40 minute wait though. Yeah, it could actually run over afterwards yeah, when a lot of people are leaving. Yeah. Good idea. Brought the GoPro along, and uh, the ladies just said, "Yep, you can film on a chest mount, same for Space Mountain, chest mount GoPro. You'll be fine." So here we go. You get to come along with us now on this one. <laughs> you get to hear Laura screaming her head off. Here we go then. We're here. <laughs> oh, I'm ready for this. Here we go, Laura. I'm in my spot and I'm good to rock and roll. This is us. I'm gonna do my best with the angle, everyone. But we're good to rock and roll here. You ready? Yeah. Run, run. I'm just trying to do There you go. Safety check done. We're locked and loaded. We're good to roll. Here we go. I reckon you're nervous. I can see it in your face. <laughs> awesome ride, this one. Strap yourselves in for this, guys. Here we go. Prepare for Team Blue Light Cycle Ride Upload Sequence. Remember, hold on, keep your head up, and face forward. Congratulations, Caesars. A championship performance and victory for Team Blue. Wowie. That was unreal. It's got to be front row. Yeah, got to do front row on this. Oh, this just reminds me of that episode of Dexter. I don't know, it just probably reminds me of the episode of Dexter this does. <laughs> Uh, the one where he does the dance, he actually does it. Oh my word. Peanut butter jelly time. What a job that lady's got there. 
already an hour and a half before the show wow oh it's vibes though proper vibes here we go we're at the ice cream plaza Ooh, smaller shape there's some nice ice creams there i normally go for the brownie sunday you've got the mickey kitchen sink in here as well which is a big one here's the brownie sunday the kitchen sink some different shakes there as well it's a good looking milkshake this though it looks really thick loads of cream on there Here's my brownie. Oh, look at that. Look at the hot fudge going on top of that brownie. Oh, 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 oh wow. Look at that. Wow. Thank you. Oh, my God. Thanks very much. Wow, look at that. That looks amazing. Oh, get on there. Oh, look at that. That looks absolutely amazing. It does look amazing. Proper atmosphere out here today. I know. I was just saying that this is my kind of nightclub. Ice cream. And everyone's having a good time. Yeah. yeah. And how was your Sunday? Amazing. Yeah. Way better than the one the other day, that. Yeah, there's loads of hot fudge on that, isn't there? Yeah. And there's a lot of ice cream and then there's the brownie at the bottom and all that fudge. Mm. Amazing. Right, so I'm gonna let you enjoy. It'll only last two minutes. So yeah, you enjoy. Here we go, we're going on the people mover. Just for a little mini, oh, just to sit down for half an hour. Oh, that's nice. Oh, people move a vibes where you don't have to do anything. And that lady is still bopping away down there, by the way. Loving life. This is the TTA Blue Line non stop service around the world. Welcome aboard the People Mover, presented by Enterprise. I'm Pat Five, your guide aboard this highway in the sky. The absolute best way to see tomorrow. And by stars, there are ever lots to see. From spacecraft to monster maps, there's really nothing like today in tomorrow. For your safety, if you have wings, jetpacks, or gravity polarizers, please do not take flight while on board. <laughs> the next station is Tomorrowland Urban Planning and Star Traders. Transfer to Green and Red Lines. Don't worry, your express train keeps on rolling through the future. I find two of my favorite spots. Now approaching Tomorrowland Speedway and Tron Night Cycle Run. I love a good circuit, and these 
These are two of the best tracks of the cosmos for a bit of light speed competition. Okay, so fireworks all done. It is crazy in here. Uh, the fireworks were very, very good. Enjoyed them. Very patriotic. Uh, quite simple, not nothing crazy on the castle, just the stars. And then some really nice fireworks. It wasn't anything like wishes or anything like that. Um, that was my opinion on it. Quite simple, weren't they? Like, yeah, so we got to the front, waited, and I was like, got a perfect view of the castle. I could see everything. And the one town got a perfect view. They had nothing on the castle. I was like, oh, I could just wait for the back. It was yeah. a good show, exactly as I expected, very patriotic. I've seen where they went, see what the 
Yeah, not quite as good as Wishes, but still very, very good. And what I liked as well, there was fireworks all around. So fireworks at the front of the park, around the castle, everyone was like looking around. That was quite yeah, cool, was having fireworks all around. Yeah, I liked that. Uh, that was really good fun. But uh, yeah, very patriotic. Everyone enjoyed it. Everyone in a great mood here. And let me tell you, no one is going home. We came over to Space Mountain straight away. Already a 50 minute wait. No one is going home. The party on the front stage is on until 11 p.m. They've been on all the tannoys encouraging people to stay. Uh, the, the park closes at 11, so another hour and a half. But uh, also, if you're a deluxe hotel guest, it's open until 1 a.m. tonight. So. That's amazing if you're a deluxe guest, isn't it? So I can oh, yeah. The deluxe guests are in here, having the balls, coming in the afternoon. Yeah, yeah. so the, the party ain't stopping any, any time now. They've actually said, if you want to avoid big wait times, stay in the park, have some fun, then go home. So. Yeah, Oh, she's still on. She's still loving life. I, I want some of her energy. Give me one. Whatever monster she's drinking, give me one. <laughs> That's me on day one of Florida, innit? That's me. That's me on day one. <laughs> That's me right there. Day one in the morning when you're the first morning in Florida. That's that's the vibe, isn't it? Hey, loving life. <laughs> And then on your last day, you're this guy over here, aren't you? <laughs> Got it to be going home. <laughs> oh, the difference. I know. So I think we're gonna we're not gonna do any oh, any more rides. Sorry. Uh, we're gonna, gonna go wander around, see what's going on. Maybe go through the getting, shops. Yeah, because we're getting picked up. You don't have to worry about the transport. Well, that's the great news. I made up. We booked the taxi for a night like this because look at the amount of people. We know we're just gonna walk straight to Contemporary out the gates. No yeah. monorail. No boat. Straight to our taxi. Air conditioned Wi Fi straight back to the villa. Oh, yeah. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Just come into the shop on the way out, and I think these are absolutely gorgeous. So it's a full generic Disney World Starbucks glittery. It's absolutely stunning. That I don't I think it's new in. I've not seen that before that I know of. It's gorgeous. That is absolutely stunning. Can't really see on the camera, but it's really, really nicely detailed, shimmery, and everything. So we've just come into the uh, confectionery area. We've got loads of new Skittles products, get loads of freeze dry Skittles products. You've got fudge the bites there the as well. There's the mint chocolate cookie sandwich. I don't know what to go for. There's loads of these freeze dried Skittles things. There's a uh, cereal bar with freeze dried Skittles. That sounds nice though. I like Skittles and I like lemon cake. That could be nice for you, yeah. So I don't know. I don't know what to go for here. Yeah. Now just heading out, I've got to say they're very, very organised tonight. They've got all these blow-up uh, things here telling everyone the way. Maybe these are new and they're every night now. But yeah, if these aren't every night, they should be every night for everyone leaving. All these light-up things, everyone directing. These blow-up uh, bunting things. They could be there every night, as Laura said. But uh, if it's just tonight, then they should be on every night. So it's very helpful and it does make it a little bit more efficient. But uh, we get to head straight now and avoid all of that. Yes. And we head straight to Contemporary and get picked up over there. Perfect. No monorails. <laughs> no trams or anything tonight, which is nice. And I get to just sit back and relax as well. I don't have to concentrate now, which is nice. Okay, so as we walk, I'm going to answer some of your Q&A questions. We had a little Q&A on Instagram. Loads of you asked, so we'll answer a few while we're uh, wandering along. Uh, Megan has asked, are we coming back for Halloween? 
uh, potentially, as I said previously, the fog always comes calling. The fog does always come calling, but we'll see, we'll see. Favorite time of year to go to Florida, not including HHN, probably a cooler month, so November, January, January February, a cooler time, um, if you're not gonna do September time. Um, anytime you come, there's always gonna be something going on. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Uh, could you come to Orlando and not do any of the parks at all? Of course, 100. percent There is so much to do. We are very park fo uh, park focused, uh, but there's so much you can do. We met a lovely family from I think they were from Scotland. They weren't doing the parks. There is loads to do. There's beaches. There's nature. There's airboats. There's kayaking. There's absolutely all kinds. And you can still get a bit of a feel of Disney and stuff by going to the resorts. You don't need to pay to go in. Disney Springs you can go into, see the drone show, city walks. As so you can get a taste of the parks without going into them as well. So yeah, 100%, 100% you can come here without doing the parks. Uh, absolutely. Uh, let's see. Uh, Jake Brown has asked, would you give Bush Gardens a second chance? A ride video be good and can film the rides. Yes, you can film the rides in there. Would we give it a second chance? Yes. Will it be this trip? Probably not. Um, yeah, I've just seen a post before about Bush Gardens being mental today. Yeah, it's, it pulls in a different crowd, Bush Gardens. You've got to go yeah. at the right time and on the right day. We went on a bad day last time. It was full of kids running riot and staff had no control. Um, and it's a, it's, a, it's a bit of a drive. On maps, you know, it shows like an hour or so, fine. But when you come back and you're going through Tampa, it's, and it's oh, a storm, makes it even worse. last time it was like three hours getting oh, home yeah, and it just, it's nice. really put me off. But yes, I would go back. It is a great park. It's got some fantastic rides. Uh, be on the list for a future trip. Not this time, this trip, the, the, you know, the different part we were gonna do was Volcano Bay. That didn't go too well either, did it? Um, so we'll see, we'll see, maybe. Uh, so there's a few of your Q&A answers. We'll be doing more tomorrow. So a few questions. Let's do one more. We've got a little bit further to go. I'd like to try and squeeze these in for you all when I can. Uh, let's see what else we've got here. Um, the Holland Travel, how's it going? Uh, what iPhone stick do you use? Manfrotto, it's called. Get them on Amazon, I think they're about 30 quid. Manfrotto. Best bit of theme park merch you've seen so far? I'd probably say that Tomorrowland range, the one where you got yeah, your spirit it was really jersey. Good. Very different as well, wasn't it? Yeah, that Tomorrowland yeah. range, I would say. And some nice mugs and stuff as well. Also, that tumbler we've just seen, that Starbucks one. Nice, that. It's a nice bit of merch, that. Uh, ooh. Velocity coaster or soaking people on Popeyes. Soaking people on Popeyes. <laughs> Lasts longer. <laughs> Told you, dream job, that. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Inky Elf, book chilling like a villa for my 30th next year with your code. Thank you. Fantastic. Lovely bit of that. You'll have a great time. Windsor Hills as well. Uh, enjoy it. Enjoy. You cannot go wrong. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Can you try raising canes on this trip? Everyone is asking us to try that. We'll have a look into it. We need to look into what Laura can eat in there. Nothing, but I can happily go and watch. See, this is the thing, this is why a lot of the restaurants we just don't end up trying because it's a bit harsh to just take Laura and she can't, Laura can't really eat anything and I'm sat in there, you know, loving life. So some of the restaurants, we don't do them because there's just no feasible gluten-free option. Maybe there'll be one night where Laura has something and then I go and have something, but it's not really the same, is it, when you've come away together and then you're eating separate. So anything that we don't do that you recommend, can always be done on another trip as well so do bear that in mind i can't believe how busy it is tonight everywhere so busy let's squeeze in one more we'll squeeze in one more um do you have a day off stay in the villa by the pool uh, not sure where you both find the energy we don't normally know we'll have a we have quite a few breaks in the day don't we yeah we have a few breaks in the day this time i tried to sunbathe last 20 minutes with the heat so. too hot yeah yeah so we do have breaks during the day but for us wait see i, mean, I can on my day off from work i can go sit by the pool yeah exactly and we can go that we can go the beach any day yeah um so yeah we don't normally do pool days or beach days because you can do that in tenerife anytime 
It's a little bit different. Being in Florida, it's a little bit different. We like to keep busy. Here we go, here's our ride to take us home. Oh, perfect. Heaven, bang on time. Way, hey. love it. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Oh, here we are then, back home. Oh, that was a nice ride. I enjoyed that, not driving. I enjoyed that. So we're back home now, lovely taxi ride back. Big thanks to uh, Epic. Laura's just gone up to bed. I'm doing a little bit of editing, but I'm hooked on this show at the moment. Um, Bahamas Life, if you've seen it, it's about people buying their dream homes, holiday homes in the Bahamas. Quite an addictive show to watch. If you've seen it, let me know. If not, try and check it out online. It's a bit like a place in the sun, but it's like Americans buying in the Bahamas. I'm hooked on it. Okay, well, it is now definitely bedtime. I hope you all enjoyed today. It was very, very action-packed, but certainly enjoyed it. Magic Kingdom fireworks, etc. Uh, absolutely knackered now. July 4th, tomorrow, uh, we're going to be doing some different things in the daytime and maybe Epcot in the evening, but we're going to be seeing some of those celebrations. It's going to be busy out and about, all kinds of food and singing and fireworks and you name it. So a uh, big day coming up tomorrow for July 4th. Hope to see you then. If you are enjoying the vlogs, make sure you do subscribe. Uh, it really helps out the channel. Uh, all you need is a free uh, Google Gmail account to log into YouTube. Uh, also, make sure you give uh, a thumbs up and a like under all the videos. It really helps us out. Uh, all of those Florida vlogs, do give it a thumbs up and uh, hit the little like symbol under the video. It really does help. And uh, make sure you do comments as well. We ask loads of questions throughout the vlogs and I do read all of your comments and recommendations. So uh, do keep commenting. Thank you all very much for following along and I will uh, see you in the morning. Bye, guys.